Ajax in het staat 2-0 voor AZ. In this sand lies the might of mountains. Sultans die. Now, hidden within, is a dark secret. This is such bullshit. So I said I was the Prince of Persia first. First one to the top is Prince of Persia. Ali Reza, ya unboxing. Oh, that is richtig fantastic. What's up, boys, and welcome to the That is right, boys, we are looking at the Prince of Persia, none other than AZ's finest, Al Reza Yahanbak. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly, or someplace or somewhere near it. Has been incredible for AZ, has been incredible for Iran, and is really the guy that the entire nation is resting their hopes on if they are to get out of that very difficult group with Spain and Portugal, likely to be favorites going out of that group. Like I said, Yahan Baksh, incredible for AZ, one of the most informed players in all of Europe, and Iran is going to hope that not only their stout defending, which is one of the things that the Iranian national team is known for, uh, not, not only are they going to hope that the Iran defense is going to be up to the task, but it is going to be Azmoon and Yahan Baksh who are going to have to step up big time. Now, if you guys enjoy the more obscure episodes, smash that like button. Let's me know you guys want to see more of this stuff as well. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Now, Yahan Baksh, I wouldn't exactly say obscure. He's, he's now he's a name player. He's being linked to Bayern. He's being uh, linked to Napoli. Wouldn't be the first Iranian player that's gone to the Bundesliga. Wouldn't be the first Iranian who's played at Bayern. He is drawing links and correlations to every Iranian icon uh, or legend or uh, historic player who has ever played. But of course, because he does play for AZ, we had to put together a nice little air to VZ side. We've got De Jong and we've got uh, Herving Lozano, one of the most broken cards in FIFA, obviously. Uh, up there. I'm fine playing him on 6 chem as a left forward. We're going to switch the formation uh, once we get in game. We've got Maric. We've got a uh, we've got a Manchester United back line. A lot of you guys are going to say because this is uploaded so quickly after the um, after the Fred is red episode that I'm a De Gea, uh, that I'm a United supporter. I am not. In fact, I love a lot of United players. Just happens to be that Bai and De Gea and then Luke Shaw helped me get Maddich on full chem. We've got Nathan Ake, aka High School Musical, who could have had himself an inform if there was a team of the week. Most likely would have had himself an 86 rated card, which would have been something maybe like 83, maybe even 84 pace with something like 87, 88, maybe even 89 defending it has yet to be seen. We've got cards. And then we've got Van Percy Fish with a little bit of Air Divisi sprinkled in. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to divvy this up. So passing Chucky Lozano might actually be our cam. If I'm being honest with you, I'm thinking Chucky might be our cam. Uh, Luke de Jong has got the weak foot, so I think he might be our left striker. And then Jahan Buck will be our right striker. Now, we've got ourselves four more games, and I'm not sure what's going to happen because it is currently 3 a.m. Last time I recorded 3 a.m., I was wearing this shirt, and a cockroach appeared out of nowhere. So, when it gets nighttime, when it's early morning here in Miami, especially after the rain, like it has been today. So, like, literally, the scenario is perfect for another cockroach to show up. For your guys' sake, I bet you guys are hoping that a cockroach shows up. For my sake, I am trying to win some uh, matches of FIFA, so let's hope that does not happen. With arms wide open, under the moonlight. What we are concerned about is the fact that Jahan Baksh has some insane, insane, insane stats. So like I said, Lozano actually would be a really, really nice cam. If my flight's at 9.15, do I have four hours left to do everything that I need to? I might not sleep tonight, I might have to sleep on the plane. literally like a hot knife through butter. Car's door, that's what I'm talking about. Air DVC players are broken. 
Are there any other Air Divisie players that would have been sick to get out of uh, an Air Divisie team of the season? I mean, we got Arias, we got Lozano, we got. To be fair, we actually did get a bunch of them. Is this some as moon Iranian sorcery? We're not the same. We're different in a good way. Hey, Medake. High school musical, we love you, bro! We're all in this together. Once we know that we are, we're all stars and we see that. Sardar is moon. Sardar is moon is legitimately hijacking this epi right now. His. How? I mean, I, I understand, I understand how that happened, but how is Miss Rata putting that through? Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Prince of Persia 2, The Curse of Azmoon. I'm, li that literally could be, that literally could be the title of a major blockbuster movie. That's gift to Kani, that's his advance. That's gotta be it! Let's go on the crossbar 2-1! Jahan Baksh, and we are up 2-1, boys! We have broken the curse of Azmoon. That is a real thing. That is a new thing on the channel. Anytime you're playing FIFA and everything is going against you, it's the curse of Azmoon with the Nile uh, with, with the Nile horn one direction here. It's Carly. That's, That's what 98 shot power and 99 long shots looks like, boys. The third match of the daily knockout tournament. Not an easy task at all. We juke out De Bruyne and his Coutois. High school musical. Imagine if we would have gotten ourselves an 86 rated card. High school musical. What a save from David De Gea. And that is why, that is why I went with it. Match number one, Ali Reza Jahan Baksh gets himself a hat-trick and a spectacular hat-trick at that. Kicks things off. It wasn't even the fifth minute. He launches an absolute rocket. Uh, 19 shots, 9 on target. Uh, finishes inside the box, finishes outside the box. The agility is incredible. And the only thing that would be left to be desired would be four-star skill moves. Obviously, with a player with that sort of agility and that sort of ab rating um, and all the other stats that he had, you would hope that he has four-star skill moves. Alas, he does not, but it is not to his detriment. If you can pull off, uh, if you can do ball rolls, um, if you can do body feints, you're getting enough out of this player with some pretty insane agility stats as well. So we're gonna switch kits uh, to the world kit for this second and final match. And we are in the final of the Daily Knockout Tournament, coming up against a squad that you would expect to come up against in the final of the Daily Knockout Tournament. He's got Petit, he's got Matweedy, he's got himself uh, that uh, Fakir, I believe. Yeah, Nebel F That Wait, 90? No. Not, who's, who's that 90 Olympic Leonese player? Is that Mariano? The curse of his moon has returned. We gotta have that, we gotta have that, we gotta have that. That's all, folks. Okay. Oh, God. Was that? No, Rodrigo. Wait, Rodrigo. He's got. Okay. Waardoor AZ nu aardig wat mensen voor de bal heeft. Lozano met wat ruimte. Lozano met uh, te veel ruimte, denk ik. Chucky Lozano! You know, sometimes when, like, we've used him, we did an epi on him, he was one of the craziest players we, we've used all year, but so, sometimes you, you, sometimes you hear about a player and you just don't fully understand. You can't fully understand what a Chucky Lozano, a team of the season Chucky Lozano can mean for your squad until you're actually using him. Like, I, you can't really do a review on him because you don't know what to say. He's like a god. 
That's these right. kids these days, I'll tell you what, they're nothing like we used to be back when we were in fraternities. Yeah, they have no respect for anybody, okay? They're like, they're like stupid little goddamn they're savages. Bitches, they're bitches, I mean, I they're came in bitches. there, right, and I was polite, and I was nice to them, yeah. I was cordial, and they completely goddamn disrespected yeah. me. Little idiots, idiots! No, I was completely it. respectful. They're supposed to be my brothers, right? No, Robin, you have to say it with your heart. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> Percy Fish! 2-2 two, two in the 45th. Oh, it's Van Percy Fish. It's 2-2 two, two in the 45th. Better believe he can do it if he is a bitch. Sing out loud if you want a fish in your nuts. Sing it out loud if you want a fish in your nuts. Curse of us, Moon. Eight shot six on target, 50% possession for both of us, a fairly even match. Um, I feel like I had the better second part of the uh, of the second half. We, we definitely we definitely conceded some crazy goals, but we also scored some pretty wild goals. So Van Persie came to our rescue. Who's coming to the rescue to score the game winner? This is gonna end 3-2. This is not gonna be, this is not gonna be like a 5-5. Five five. This guy's gonna... Oh, we gave him the game! It's 4 a.m. and we gave him the game, dude! Get ourselves a loss in the final! We go all the way to the final and we absolutely choke it! 4-2! I thought we were gonna be able to, once we scored that goal with Van Persie, I thought to myself, you know what? This guy is outclassed. We, we had so many more opportunities than him. Jahan Bucks does not get her, does not even get a goal in a match where we scored two. 16 shots, nine on target. The curse of freaking Sardar's Moon. He freaking cursed us, bros. But Jahan Bucks, I'm gonna have to say, he is one of the more fun players that I have used this year. He's got the 99 agility, the 99 shot power, the 99 long shots. Just an incredible, incredible player and will be the reason. If Aram get out of the group stage, it will be because of his performances as well as that Iranian defense. But anyway, boys, that is going to do it for the Epi. If you guys have used him, let me know in the comment section below. We finally do the Prince of Persia Epi. Wasn't Azmoon, but it was Jahan Baksh, and I think we waited. Uh, and I think it was a good thing we waited because he is, in my recent memory, the best Iranian player we've ever had in FIFA. So anyway, boys, like I said, that is going to do it for the Epi. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Update.